All right, let's get on this four-wheeler. Raining outside today. Um, can't really do anything outside. Good day to stay in here. I get some food with this a little bit too. Rolled this thing in the other day. See if we can uh, do something with it. I don't know. She's a heap. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Um, I guess we'll. They don't. They don't want to do anything. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, of course, the wires wiring's a mess in here. Harness on the other one's in good shape though, but. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love that. This is awesome. Voltage regulator. I don't know what's... Uh, yeah. There's some broke wires right here. Probably gonna be not charging battery at all or charging it at 10,000 volts. Uh, either way, probably not good. Um, we'll have to figure that out in a minute. But, um, sorry, I went ahead and took off the... Uh, I went ahead and took the full rope off this uh, this four wheeler. It's a Bayou 220. Um, yeah. We tried to give it a pull, and this has that quick start on it because there's nothing in here to pull the engine. That's a quick start right there. Wow! Wow! Yeah, it's not really doing the job. I don't guess. So, um, tried to hit the starter uh, a little bit ago with some. Uh, juice and a battery and uh just clank 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 won't turn the engine um i guess we'd start with i can go ahead and pull that tank off and uh i'll get you to pull this um spark plug and see if we can get any rotation out of this piston mm. let's see here right socket here it's wrong socket Hey, grab me one, one size bigger than this. Uh, it's a blue one over here on the table. See what this spark plug looks like. Uh, machine guy we picked this up off of, really cool dude. Um, he said that uh, he was using it for uh, deer hunting and stuff for half a long time. It looks pretty rough. Um, hadn't been started. I mean, I don't know. He, he had said originally a couple of years, so we'll see here what the plug looks like. It's not even that tight. Alright. Let's see here. What do you think this plug's gonna look like? Is it gonna be toasty or rusted? Um. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not terrible. Got some wool on it. not really burnt it don't look like it's not running lean that's for sure uh, no we don't have a bunch of crust on it like it's running rich either uh, let's see here screw drive right. we're gonna do take this stick in that lock right there and we'll turn it She's sticky. It's either sticky from sitting for a hundred years or probably like the oil in this thing. Probably has them got a major oil leak right here. Got a waterfall oil. You can see I got the oil pan under it coming out the uh, looks like the shifter seal is uh is bad. He had said that um he had put a shifter rod in this a while back. Um probably didn't replace the seal. So it, either way it's leaking. She leaking. All right, after seeing that it was, you know, sticky, um, didn't want to turn all the way over, poured a little bit of oil down in it, got it full on oil. Of course, obviously, it didn't have none at all. It all leaked out prior. We, uh, we dumped that Marble Mystery oil down in the um, spark plug, shot it with a little blaster, and we got her to rotate now. Go ahead and spin it over there a little bit. Probably shoot me in the eye again. The engine seems to be good and free now. Check the check the piston. Let me stick the screwdriver down in there. Make sure the piston's coming up. 
you keep rotating it there. And we'll stick the screwdriver down the spark plug hole here and see if we can have it push it up. All right, go ahead. Rotate the other way. Oh yeah, whoa, whoa, down. Go back the other way. Oh yeah, piston's moving free now. Um, so luckily we got we got by with one there, and the motor's not locked up. Um, I guess where it's been sitting for a while. Um, now we got this thing rotating pretty good. Actually feels pretty good. Um, tell you what, grab us a battery and uh, let's throw some juice on this thing and see if we can get the starter spin it now. All right, hey, grab me those jumper cables right there. We're gonna we're gonna hook this uh, lawnmower battery. We've got a hot lawnmower battery here. We're gonna hook this up. See if we can get this thing to spin under its own power from the starter here. Uh, that'd be a good plus. Cause like I said, it's sticky. We got it in here. It didn't want a million miles of uh, gobbledygook right here. Ground off a uh, pretty good ground right here. We'll catch ground right there because with this stuff right here, as you can see, this wire, and I'm not exactly sure about hooking this stuff up. Let's, well, let's give let's give the, the battery cables a try. See what they do. Um, got a key in ignition, so we're good there. Man, what a mess. This is awesome right here. This is it's awesome. Let's see your starter solenoid. There's this wire there that runs to the starter. This right here would be our hot. So we'll hook up our fancy new jumper cables to the hot wire there. Let's go ahead and try to grab this ground. Okay, let's grab this ground here. It is ground, then. It? Yeah, this ground's to the block right here. So we'll try this one right here. And let's see if we can get it to spin over by pushing the button. All right. You ready? Power on. All right, hit that button right there and see if it'll go. Like on this one? Yeah. Well, we do have solenoid clicking, so that's a that's a start. Um, hit it there again. Well, typically when they click like that, um, at least we do know we're getting power down due to the solenoid. Solenoid's probably bad. We could probably just jump it. Um, but this is a uh, a solenoid here that we can't get a screwdriver on each side of it. So let's just try to ground right here to the frame. Let's take this power off and just go right to the starter. See what we got. No, don't hit it. Let me hit it right here. And we got nothing. All right. Hold that right there on the ground. Let's see if we can get a good ground. I think we get ground. Good? Yeah. No. Negative. That's a big negative. Got no power. Ground's not good. Gotta be the ground. Let's try that. Oh, we got spark now. Ha! Found the power. All right, now let's see what we can do. You ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. And we got some juice coming out of the spark plug hole. Um, keys and switch, right? Yeah. Well, All right, let's uh, well, let's put a. Let's put a spark plug in here and see if we yeah. can get some fire out of this old girl. All right, that's spark plug right here. All right, uh, actual rod, come over here and grab this spark plug wire. Kind of hold it up as the battery's falling over off the tire on me. <laughs> kind of hold this over here by the head and let's see if this old girl's got some spark. Uh -huh. Come on, girl, spark off for us here. Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Fire in the hole. Oh, yeah. Look at that spark. Alright, let's check out this spark. 
Let's hold it back out here, see if we get it on camera. Hold it right there. What? Kind of back it out. About right there, we want that lighting in the fire. All right, fire in the hole. Oh yeah. It's got a great spark. Um, that's a plus too. Um, let's put the plug in it. All right. We'll hit it with some liquid encouragement. Grab me the grab me a can of starting fluid. Screw this whole plug back down in here. Uh, you know what? Before I do that, let's uh. Let's knock this off a wire wheel. See if we clean this up. And uh might help us hurt to break. Mm -hmm. Alright, after running this through the old wire wheel job over there. I'm gonna take a little sandpaper and clean the back side of it up. And we'll get it right here. Yeah, the whole plug looks pretty good. We'll uh, see what we can do here. See if we can get this thing to kick. Right, screw the spark plug back down in there. Hey, you got a spark plug socket? Socket? Socket. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Alright. In, not out. You. There you go. Alright. Get your tighten on her there. Go ahead and pop that spark plug wire on. Yeah. Did. Yeah, take this can of liquid encouragement. Let me move this junk here out of the way so we don't cause fire. That's for another video. Fire. All right. Uh, let's see. Turn the choke off. That's on. All right. Shoot a little bit in the back of that carburetor there. Okay. Right here in the back of the throat of the carburetor. All right. Hold on, let me open up the throttle. There you go. Now do it. Yeah, just a little bit of squirt. Alright. Alright. Let's see what she's going to do. Cross your fingers. Fire hole. Well, that's a good start. It did try. Um, see what, I'm going to let you run the starting process and let me run the spraying process. How's that? Yeah. You'll take this hot lead right here. Hit it right on top of that nut right there for the starter. Just kind of tap it, tap it, tap it. And uh, I'll spray the, uh, I'll, sp I'll run the gas tank on this thing here. See what we can do. When it starts, let off of that starter, okay? Alright. Alright, let's see here. Throttle open? Uh, yep. You ready? Yeah, go ahead and hit her there. I guarantee you that that carburetor is completely gummed up. Yeah, let me open it up. All right, go ahead. She's a smoker too. Maybe killing it out. Let me take that off. Oh, almost there. All right, go ahead and hit it there again. Looking pretty good. Promising. Looks like we got something out of it. Oh yeah. Let me hit it one more time here. Get it going. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Burn out all the ether. <laughs> Okay. All right, go ahead and hit her there. Oh yeah. I have, I have I have faith that it's just gonna run. We get some we need some gas tank on it and get some, some fuel and get the carburetor clean now. Um, that's a quick way if you're looking at something out in the field. Um, you're looking to buy something off somebody like on 
marketplace or something like that. A um, couple of things I always take with me is a spark plug wrench and a can of ether and a hot battery and a good set of jumper cables. I mean, because a lot of times you, you buy something out of somebody's backyard, a lot of times it's just a carburetor stopped up. Um, and if you can get it to hit on ether, um, a lot of times you can uh, you can get it running with a simple clean out of the carburetor and some maintenance with the plugs and stuff like that. Now, obviously, this is a different story. This is a gobbledygook that we're going to have to figure out. Um, luckily, we're not going to have to use all that. We're going to we're going to take and uh, use the harness on the uh, good frame up in the other uh, carport up there. Um, wiring harness is nowhere near this bad on it. Um, we're gonna look like we can get us a, a good starter solenoid. Um, we ought, we had a good carburetor on this motor here, so we'll probably just use that carburetor since we know it's good, and uh, we'll take that one off and do a video on how to clean out your carburetor. I know that's a lot of things. That's a thing a lot of people they uh, they get concerned with a lot of small parts and needles and things but it's really it's something simple anybody can do I'll show you a real quick way of uh, cleaning it out because um, a lot of times it's just some old gas that's built up uh, or some kind of dirt got past the gas filter or in through the air cleaner but um, it's not anything to be really worried about um, we'll go through a carburetor I mean I'm not a carburetor expert but hey I can clean one out enough to, you know, make it chug around anyway, so, uh, we'll see what we can do there, um, but we'll get, we'll get to going on this and, uh, try to get some, uh, check out this oil leak down here that's, uh, actually not an oil leak, it's a freaking waterfall of oil coming out the shifter, um, I know that there's a seal in there that's probably bad causing that, um, all right, different camera angle now. You can see over here. This was a uh, pretty toasty right here. We're gonna clean that up. Uh, I guess now that we know that uh, this whole engine does still have some life in her, I guess we can uh, we can start uh, disassembling it. I really don't want to change. This is a seal I was telling you. That's a freaking oil waterfall. It's making a huge mess. Um, I don't really want to change that on this frame. We know. Uh, now that the engine does have some life, so I guess we'll, uh, I guess we start taking this engine off and, uh, cleaning it up. Um, have to hit the good old Amazon and get a, get a, uh, seal for that coming. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and start, uh, disassembling this thing and, uh, getting ready to take this motor off. Grab me some dots and, uh, I'll show you what here to take off and, um, we'll go from there and see what we can do. But you can see, yeah, that's awesome right there. That's a really good, uh, and that's, yeah. Got to get all this cleaned up right here, and we'll go ahead and start taking this, uh, taking this engine off and uh, getting it ready to uh, clean up and go in the other frame. Go ahead and start cutting all these wire ties right here. And, uh, we're going to want to get those plugs undone. You've got a clamp for your intake clamp right here that's uh, 18 miles too big. we got to get that off. Oh, and you got to love this. This right here. Now this right here is the way you set up a bulletproof throttle. See, what you got here is you got a high-end clip right here. See, this, this stuff right here, this is high-end. You know, you're holding up a bent hose and you've got your... Uh, You've got your throttle all held by the same. Oh, it's great. That that right there is an awesome clip. That 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 right there is good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yeah. So go ahead and start. Actually, go ahead and start taking uh, all this loose and go ahead and unplug this voltage regulator. That's obviously for whatever else, but not this. And uh, we'll see what we can figure out here. Start getting this engine apart getting it off this frame now I do know from taking that engine off that 
we have to remove the pegs and the floor pan um, to get this one off. Looks like we have a uh, got a mount right here. Uh, looks like we have a mount right in here and let me shake the camera all over so you can really see it good. Alright, we got that and we have this drive line right here to contend with. I think on these that, well, I don't think, I know for a fact that we got to get all the motor mounts loose first and it just pops out right here. Come here, coffee. Good coffee. But you can see right here, this had an awesome vent right here for the crankcase. Somebody done some... This this weld right here, That's that actually looks like maybe it had been took to a shop and done but this right here this is a this is jb weld and it is pouring right here if you fill this old engine up and this engine will have compression anyway um but there's a lot of good parts here that we can use um on this one right here so we'll uh go ahead and start unplugging all the harness go ahead and take the intake clip the intake clamp right here off yeah go ahead and take that off uh get this wire off of here this uh coat hanger we need to get that off we'll go ahead and remove the carburetor and take the spark plug wire off and then uh the next thing we'll do is uh we'll get that we'll get that running board off and as you can see it is pouring rain that's good because my grass was dying hmm be mowing next week I guess all right here I'll help you out yeah go ahead and take that take that clamp right there huh Get a small flathead on that and we'll bust these clamps loose. Okay. Small flathead and we'll start busting these clips loose while you're getting that over there and we'll start unplugging this harness. Alright, that right there goes, I believe, this is the stator. We have a ground wire. This right here is actually the ground for the battery. Uh, mounted right here to the block. We'll have to get that off. You've already got the, the high-end voltage regulator, supersonic voltage regulator unplugged. Uh, yeah, put it in there. Alright, i got to get this plug right here. One hiding up in here from me, hard to see. Looks like somebody replaced the starter on this. Uh, recent. That starter is not as cruddy as the rest of the four wheeler, so that tells me that it's probably been changed at some point. And that thing there just don't want to make me look bad on camera. It does not want to come undone. You see that? The whole Sahara Desert fell out of that plug when I plugged it. Yeah, that's probably not good. What have we got going on here? How did they get that? Okay, I see. Look right there. I'll have to get the carburetor off and then we'll, we'll get this gobbledygook right here out of the way. I gotta get an 8mm for that. I gotta, let me grab an 8mm, pull my pants up first, and then I'll get me an 8mm.
boat hanger. I told you, that right there is a great clip. Hey, you ain't got nothing else to, to work with. Work with a coat hanger. A few things in life that'll get you by. Coat hanger, good wire coat hanger is one. We taking this thing off. Duct tape, PB blaster, and a set of jumper cables. I got this thing. All right, go this ahead and try to. Yeah, it's already All right, go ahead and pull it out of there. Okay. All right. You got all the hoses unhooked? No, no, I do not. Cut. What else you got left? This thing. Oh, you'll have to take that coat hanger all the way off. That's the throttle cable. Yeah, no, yeah. It's not in there the right way. It's just kind of laying in there. Once you get that coat hanger off, you can probably just pull it off the side. I need a. I've got the ground wire over here out, so we're we put this. Always put your bolts back in the hole. It took me like 20 years to learn that. After looking for them and can't find them nowhere, I always put them back in the hole. That way, they're right where they're supposed to be. That's the life lessons right there. Maybe we should do a segment on life lessons about putting your tools up so you can find them, or putting them up and hiding them from yourself so you can't find them and you still spend an hour looking for them. That's always awesome. Axel's working on getting this uh, high-end, very expensive coat hanger clip off over here. Uh, I believe it's the only thing holding the carburetor on now. So this uh, is actually the uh, original carburetor for this. I think it might be a McCoonie. We'll look and we'll get it off. Either way, um, I think this carburetor can be rebuilt. We can uh, we can clean this thing up and probably get it working. Uh, we've got an Amazon carburetor off the other engine that uh, I did open up and look at, and it's you know it's a good carburetor and the throttle's already on the other end, so we'll we'll run it. And if it don't do what we want it to, then we'll uh, we'll put this this carburetor here back on. Um, I well, actually had good luck out of Amazon carburetors though. I bought a lot of Amazon carburetors cheap and uh, a lot of them's really worked. I've only had trouble out of maybe one that I've ordered. Um, that's crazy because when I was a kid, you a carburetor was the end of the world. They were so expensive, but you know now you can you can about replace one quicker. And cheaper than you can spend buying a rebuild kit off of a online store or going to the dealer. You're having no kind. Of, that thing is kicking your butt. Can we like snap it off, or just just like? Yeah, go ahead. It's just a coat hanger. Snap it off. You can snap it off. With what? Oh, let's. It's rusted, so. It's... Yeah, it's crusty. That's for sure. I got a lot of. Did you get it right there. Get there you go. All right. Got it. Thanks. Right, let's go over here on this side and take a look at um, how this throttle set up. Let me uh, let me squeeze in there and see if I can put a new set of hands on it and get it out of there. Oh yeah, I got her twisted up in there good. Yeah. A for effort on getting that thing twisted in there. Good lord. Hey. Yeah, I probably don't need that anymore. I mean, save it. We might use it. Nah, <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. We're not going to use that. <laughs> uh, you can see right here. I'm going to snake this. Come on out of there, girl. Come on out of there. Okay, I said I was going to get it out of there. So you can see this throttle. Okay, here we go. Take this throttle cable. Just kind of pulls around. And then you have this little divot right here. This one is about half shaved off and wore off. Let's see if I can stick a screwdriver in there and pop it up out of there. There we go. Yeah, buddy. <coughs> yeah, that's uh, typically these are round, 
not really sure how this one ended up looking like a driveway rock but here we are all right yeah look at this yeah this whole carburetor's been on here yeah i'm not sure what <laughs> I'm not sure what is going on here. Kind of almost looks like it's been beat up with a hammer, don't it? Wow. What kind of carburetor is this? Yep, this is a Makuni carburetor. This is actually a really good carburetor. Um, what's going on here? This one looks like it's had a little bit of surgery here and there. She is kind of nasty check the slide oh yeah look at that dirt in there you can tell this thing's been sitting for a while but i mean don't let that scare you ain't nothing good old soap and water won't fix well maybe carburetor cleaner and mean green anyway we're gonna we're gonna save this we'll just put this over in the old drawer for now set that over there out of the way